Peterborough await the winners of this one in the final. Here's Jamil Matt. And back inside again. It was Evans with the initial effort and the second shot goes wide of the target from John Parkin. Four goals in his last seven league starts, Parkin. Evans just falling as he hit the shot and it takes another deflection. Five wins in six in all competitions for Chesterfield. Sided form at the moment for Paul Cook. Another goal here you think would put this one beyond Fleetwood and Mark Richards had a tipped over by Chris Maxwell. That's another good ball forward again, Jay O'Shea. He scored two at the weekend against Torquay, Jay O'Shea. And it's given away, Chesterfield not getting the ball clear in by Hughes. Across to Parkin! And this time he does stab the ball goalwards and Fleetwood finally make the breakthrough. One deal on the night, 3-2 on aggregate. And the pressure finally told as the ball came across. Parkin just stabbed it under Tommy Lee. Into the corner will go Ollie Banks. No need to get the ball into the centre. Challenge from Charlie Taylor will give away a free kick as the full-time whistle goes. And Chesterfield booked their place at Wembley for the second time in three seasons in the Johnson's Paint Trophy. It's to be no fairy tale for Fleetwood. That first leg victory by three goals to one set the Spyrites up nicely. They were beaten on the night by a single John Parking goal, but did enough. Chesterfield through 3-2 on aggregate. They will play Peterborough in the Johnson's Paint Trophy final.